to the Outdoor Latina. Today we are talking about the Marmot Catalyst two-person tent with footprint. I just got this in the mail and I bought this because I'm trying to make my gear smaller and also because I want to go backwards camping and this was the most affordable one that seemed durable enough. Even has a stag, it cost me $259 Canadian. Pretty good price for a tent. It's about five pounds, so it definitely is a little bit more than I would like. However, it's for two persons, so if two people come with me, should be good to go. So let's open it up. So right away, the tent has these little straps to kind of keep it all together, which is great. So once I'm done with it, I can kind of zip tie together. Uh, it comes with obviously the poles, uh, pegs, footprint. So I am going to set this up, but a little bit about the tent. So the tent itself is exactly four pounds, 11 ounces. It fits two persons comfortably. I got this because I am a bigger lady <laughs> and I also carry a lot of photo gear. So I just wanted to be comfortable in a tent, but also have my electronics indoors. That was a very important part of why I got this tent instead of a one person tent. The materials for pretty much everything is polyester or polyester blends. It is it is also a freestanding design, so it has two doors, one on each side. So uh, you can also, I'm going to see if you can also use it without the fly, uh, just because maybe in a hot summer day, you'd just be able to have a open area. So let's set this up and see what it looks like. come with its own tent footprint that's pretty awesome all right tent footprint complete uh, the next is the big part of the tent. So I always just like to line it up. Uh, the aluminum poles are pretty easy. I am literally not following any instructions, so I'm hoping put them in the right way.
Uh, the aluminum poles snap really, really easily. Just gonna find the one spot. So everything, all the poles are just snap. You just snap into it and it's ready to go. life set up <laughs> all right this is interesting all right go on the other side So that's the main poles in. I'm just gonna clip everything in place. Uh, there's this little black hook here. You just hook on to both. Um, okay, make sure everything's hooked on. So this is the main tent area. Love it. Tent area is almost done. So, but I'm just going to give you guys a close-up of the aluminum poles. So, these are the aluminum poles. Uh, they're very lightweight, uh, very easy to install. And then as you can see, oops, uh, the tent has doors on each side. So, it's very easy to access. Uh, so, now we are going to be installing... Uh, these gray poles and these kind of go in the front of the tent here just to give a little bit more space so it's very interesting they actually just kind of curve already another cool feature of this tent is that if you're using this on like a busy campground or anything like that it does have half mesh half not mesh so the back of this tent here part of it is kind of like diffused and then the top of this tent is just mesh so if you want to see the stars or anything like that you can easily do it um, or if you just want to sleep without the rain fly that is also a really cool feature Uh, so just like that, it gives you a little bit extra uh, room up there, and it's quite tight actually. So let's go inside. Uh, when you open the tent, uh, there's a little uh, hook here that you can use to tie up the door. I also love the double doors, but on a summer day, yeah. if you don't want to have your rain fly on, uh, very cool to have double doors open. Uh, also great if you have two people, uh, it is a two person tent, so if you have two people, it's nice to be able to just get on your own side and not have to bother 
uh, the other person. So that's a really great feature that I like. Uh, so as you can see, I take out my shoes. <laughs> um, I'm I'm not standing, but I'm half sitting. I'm fully sitting down here and I've got lots of space above me, which is great. And inside there's a hook on the top and actually on a few spots on the top of the tent, which is awesome. There's some pockets on the side that I'll show you guys. So let's take you in. This seems very durable. Feels very good quality. Uh, now comes uh, the rain fly or protection. So let's put this on. Which way? Has, uh, similar to the door hooks that's how you kind of hook up the tarp and on the corners <laughs> it is literally just a buckle that you buckle to the ends it's pretty cool uh, we also have some velcro in some areas Very, very easy setup. I'm actually pretty impressed. It's only taking long because I'm showing you guys, showing you guys how, uh, how it works. Buckles. So the rainfly also has a back door. So you can uh, open up doors on both sides so it's not just available for without the rain fly you can do you can have it open uh, either way so I'm going to show you guys alright Uh, so the tent also comes with its own poles. Uh, it's pretty lightweight and pretty quiet in here, uh, but it's also sand, so I can just do it with my hand and my foot very easy. I want to know if you guys have any other backwoods camping tents that uh, you like. If so, please comment through. below. I would love to know any features that maybe this tent is missing that you think would be a great add-on to this tent compared to other tents. So uh, please comment below and let me know what you think. 
this is one of my first review videos so um just being the halfway point i would love it if you guys would uh, follow and subscribe um if you want me to do more of these videos please comment below as well so this is the full tent uh setup it's not as i would say snug as i would like it to be uh but it's pretty pretty good uh Zip up is right here. It's kind of a little spot I gotta attach. Hold on. Keep finding these. Anyway. Um, zip up is right there, so you do have to open on this side, and the other side is just down. So I guess you could put some of your stuff, like your shoes, under this kind of area. Uh, there's two doors on each side, so you can have uh, both. Our uh, rain flies open. This is the tent fully set up. So you guys can kind of take a look. And again, if you go inside, this is the area there. You can kind of see the tarp on the other side, how it extends. Uh, the tent has been with me now on a few trips so I've kind of gotten to know like how the tent works and everything uh, but on this trip which is kind of like what I was waiting for was to test the tent's capabilities for rain now I have also added a tarp to the setup that I have here today so that's obviously going to be a little bit different if I were just testing the tent itself uh, for rain but the trip that I'm on, uh, there was a lot, a lot of rain forecasted, so I couldn't just go with my tent, uh, especially if I hadn't tested it for that. I love this tent. The setup, very, very easy. It takes me like five to ten minutes to set them set it up uh, if it's a summer day then I can set it up really quick if it's a uh, rain so I'm trying not to get everything wet inside uh, I do take a little bit of my time Uh, some really cool features that I like of the tent uh, So this thing here um, Doesn't look like much but when you put the Headlamp in it kind of diffuses the light All into the tent obviously it's quite dark so my eyes adjust to it, but that's an amazing feature another really cool feature are the pockets inside that I use. There's one on each corner. I have my hat and gloves in there in case I get cold at night. So, And there's also, if you want to hang something from here, uh, you can hang something from this little hook. I don't really hang much up there. Um, okay. So it's not like the thickest sort of tent. Uh, and, um... There are some spots that are kind of wet, so that's a little bit of a disappointment. Uh, I was hoping it'd be a little bit better. Good morning, we made it through last night. Scary. This is my view. It really, really came down last night. I mean, look, you can see the ground, like how wet it is. Um, the tarp did its job, kept me mostly dry, but uh, it um, was still pretty, pretty wet. My sides of my tent are disgusting, like, 
and uh, they're all splattered with mud and shit. And uh, it's gonna make packing kind of interesting. Would I recommend this tent? The Marmba 2 Catalyst two person tent is pretty awesome. So these are 100% the reasons why I would recommend. It has good value for the money being around 250 Canadian dollars. It's lightweight enough for your first backwoods camping experiences. It's very easy to set up both summer and rain. It has very cool features like reflective outside beds for you to find your way in the dark and inside white light pockets to light your tent in an even light. Uh, waterproof enough, I wouldn't recommend going without a tarp though. Uh, and double doors if you're actually going with a friend uh, backwoods camping or hiking for multi-days. The Marmot 2 Catalyst tent is a great first tent for first time campers, backcountry campers that want to try it out and see if they like it. I would 100% guarantee that you would almost fall in love with this tent after using it for a few trips, you'll get the hang of it. So my overall rating for this tent is a 4.7 and it is only a 4.7 because I did find that it got damp when it rained excessively, however we're talking over. 50 millimeters of rain in one day, so it was a little bit excessive. My name is Crystal. I'm the Arctic Latina. I really hope that you enjoyed this review. Uh, please follow and subscribe below. Uh, Pura Vida, and have a great day.